Hello and welcome back to Pangarni on Developer Program Structured Track. Last lesson, discuss na natin yung evaluation ng expressions, kaya pwede na tayong dumaretso dun sa ating other operators. For this lesson, didiscuss natin yung mga operators na ginagamit natin sa mga expressions na na-evaluate to true or false. Yung previous na diniscuss natin na operators, yun yung mathematical operators, ang result na evaluation dun is numbers. This time around, true or false ang makukuha natin, yung boolean values natin. Yung first type ng boolean operator is yung relational operator. Mula naman itong pinagbago dun sa ating tinuro sa math, parang yung arithmetic natin. Relational operators, yung equals not equal to, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. Same lang yan dun sa tinuro sa inyo sa math. Yun nga lang, pag pinasok natin yung konsepto ng ating expressions and evaluations, gaya nito, meron tayong dalawang literal, 1 and 2, meron tayong operator na ngayon na relational operator na less than, pwede na to evaluate to a boolean value. Kasi yun nga yung ginagawa ng mga relational operator. So in this case, 1 is less than 2, that would evaluate to true. Kung binaliktad natin yan, 1 greater than 2, mag-evaluate yan to false. Okay, so yun lang naman yun. Additional operators sa pwede na gamitin sa expression sa atin and na-evaluate siya to either true or false. So na-introduce na yung relational operators, so importante rin na sabihin natin kung nasaan sila dun sa ating operator precedence. Ito yung pinakita natin last time na operator precedence. Pag sinabay natin yung mga diniscuss natin na uh, operators sa ating unang lesson sa operators, ito yung mga sama sa kanya. Hindi na nalagay kasi yung unary na negation, yung pag-negative, pati yung ating uh, ternary conditional. So, ito yung kompleto. Now, adding yung ating relational operators, ito yung level nila. They're below yung ating plus and minus, yung ating lowest na arithmetic but higher dun sa ating conditional. And yung equals and not equals, it's a level lower ng ating less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, less than at greater than. So let's take an example. Meron tayong 2 plus 3 less than 4 times 1 equals false. So hindi to algebra, hindi to equation na kailangan isolve. This is an expression na gusto natin i-evaluate as a whole. So, yun nga, susundan na yung operator precedence, kunin natin yung highest precedence. And pag pumalik tayo dun sa kanina, yung highest precedence dyan is yung ating multiplication. So, ang multiplication, yun yung 4 times 1, kaya i-evaluate natin siya. 4 times 1 is just 4. Then, yung next na highest precedence, that's plus addition natin. So, 2 plus 3, evaluate na siya, magiging 5. Then, yung next highest, sinabi nga natin, mas mataas ang precedence ng less than greater than, less than or equal to at greater than or equal to, over dun sa equal to or not equal to. Kaya, ang next natin i-evaluate is yung 5 less than 4. So, 5 less than 4, evaluate natin yan, that would be false. And finally, we evaluate yung pinakahuli, which is yung equal to, false equals false. Yung value niyan after evaluation is true. So, our entire expression, yung mga expression kanina, that's just true. So, simple talaga siya. Kung ano yung diniscuss natin before about evaluation and expressions, inapply lang natin rito. Pati yung operators, inapply lang natin rito. Nagdagdag lang tayo ng operators. Isang bagay lang na kailangan natin pansinin is yung type safety. Kunwari ito, 1 less than true, that doesn't work. Kasi yung less than natin doesn't work for boolean values. It only works for certain data types. Obviously, it works for numbers. It can work for strings. Pero yung kung compare mo number with a boolean value, hindi yan pwede. So, yung concept na to, yung i-check mo yung kung tama yung type na ginagamit mo para sa operator, sa yun yung type safety. Hindi natin to di-discuss dito sa program structure track. 
kasi medyo malapit na siya dun sa programming side that would be for another track. So in the meantime, just make sure na tama yung ginagamit yung types. So for relational operators, dapat yung both types are of the same and either it's number or it's a string. Then move on na tayo dun sa ating next na type ng boolean operator. Yung una natin is yung relational operator. Let's move on to the next which is yung ating logic operators. So sa boolean logic, meron tayong and or at not. If you've taken a philosophy or logic course, may encounter nyo to. So explain na kung ano sila. Yung and, that's a logical operator na nagiging true only if both operands are true. So, false, 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 true, false, 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 true, false. So, yan. True, kung pareho yung dalawang operands, dun lang siya nagiging true. Say, for example, you have a statement. Logic, logic, this is basic logic. You have a statement na he is tall and he is a student. Pag yung tao na yun is both tall and both a student, your entire logical statement is true. However, kung hindi siya matangkad, hindi true yung entire statement mo. Kasi yung una pa lang, yung he is tall, that's false. Kahit true yung susunod, yung uh, he is a student, it doesn't make your entire statement true. So, just because naging false yung una, false na lahat. So, yun. Sa end, lahat ng operands must be true. On the other hand, yung or... Kahit isa lang sa kanila true, okay na. So, false, 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 true, false, true, false, true is true, and true, true is still true. Parang kabaliktaran siya ng end. Kasi yung end kailangan lahat or kahit isa lang. Then, yung last natin na logical operator is yung not. So, binabaliktad lang niya. So, not. Hindi mo may rapisipin yan. So, kung false siya, pag ninat mo siya, magiging true siya. Pag true siya, ninat mo siya, magiging false siya. And yung operator precedence niya is yung not medyo mataas siya. Kasi parang kasing level siya nung arithmetic na negation. Dito naman logical ang negation niya. Then yung and and or, napakababa nila. Sila yung huling ini-evaluate sa expression with and being higher than or. So let's take an example. Meron tayong 7 less than 4, and not 5 greater than 20. Unahin natin yun na sa loob ng parenthesis kasi yun yung may highest precedence. So, 5 greater than 20, that's false. Then, next higher is yung not. So, not false is true. Then, next higher precedence is yung less than. So, 7 less than 4, that's false. Then, finally, and as the lowest precedence, yung ating false and true, since hindi sila pareho true, this is false. And again, walang nabago dun sa ating process ng evaluation. Get the highest precedence, process it, get the value, then tuloy-tuloy lang. One thing to note lang dito sa ating logic operators, sa ating boolean logic, is yung tinatawag nating short circuit evaluation. May mga cases na hindi mo na kailangan i-evaluate yung mga susunod na kanyang operands. Kasi alam mo na yung result based dun sa unang operand. So for example, sa end, kung false yung una, sigurado ka na na false na entire statement. Kasi kailangan mo lahat na statement mo is true. Pero since yung una mo is false, At that point, alam mo na na false yung entire statement mo. Now, for example, rito, 4 equals 5, that's false. So, at that point on, hindi mo na kailangan i-evaluate yung nakagray na to. Sometimes kasi yung nakagray na part na to, itong second operand na to, that may be computationally expensive. Parang medyo matagal siya i-calculate. But with this approach, pwede ka nang huminto kasi alam mo 4 equals 5, that's false. Kaya pwede mo nang hindi i-process yung entire thing. Same thing dito sa or. Kung true yung first operand mo, alam mo na na yung entire statement is true. Kaya pwede mo nang skip yung second operand. And the same way, yung second operand natin, 
may be computationally expensive, kaya nito, 5 times 10,000 greater than 2, that might be computationally expensive. Pero at this point, alam na natin, 1 equals 1, that's true. Pag pinasok mo yan sa or, siguradong true ang makukuha mo, pwede mo na skip yung computationally expensive na part na yan. So, yung process ng pag-skip ng other operands, as long as you know kung ano yung final result, that's what we call short-circuiting or short circuit evaluation. Kasi hindi mo na kailangan evaluate yung ibang statement, kuminto ka na dun sa pag-evaluate just by evaluating the first operand. So, maraming programming language, practically all modern programming languages, all modern mainstream languages, use short circuit evaluation by default. Kaya kailangan yung malaman to. Yun nga lang, another reason to point this out, yung ating short circuit evaluation, is as we shall see later, yung pag-evaluate na ng expressions, they might produce side effects. And kung hindi mo alam yung short circuit evaluation, magtataka ka bakit hindi nagpa-perform yung program nyo as you expect it. Kasi possibly na-skip yung pag-evaluate nung isang part nung expression nyo na ina-expect nyo na dapat i-evaluate. Pero hindi, kaya wala na kuha side effects. And hindi nyo na malaya na dahil sa short circuit evaluation yung ganun klaseng problema. So yun, kaya pinoint out na natin ngayon bago pa natin discuss yung side effects, side effects na yan. Anyway, yun lang naman yung ating didiscuss ngayon kasi yun lang naman yung basic na operators natin na nagre-result in boolean values yung ating relational operators pati yung ating logic operators so now we've discussed yung basic ng operations operators pati yung mga statements and expressions natin we could proceed now dun sa isa sa pinaka fundamental concepts ng programming which is yung abstraction mukha siyang complicated na concept Kasi abstraction, napakahawang word yan. Pero as you shall see, hindi siya actually ganun ka complicated. And once you understand it, it makes programming much easier to digest. Kasi yung programming is all about abstractions. And once naintindihan nyo na yung concept ng abstraction, mas madali na kayong matututo ng programming as opposed to other people na natututong mag-program ng pag-copy-paste ng code and pagsusunod sa mga tutorials without even understanding yung concept ng abstraction. And so, that's the next lesson. Abstraction.